Oh yeah, we're about to do another construction, and we, that means you need one of these. What's that called again? Oh yeah, that's a compass and a protractor. Bring them on out. To do this one, and this is my favorite kind of construction, it is called dilation. What we're gonna do is, now read this with me, construct a dilation of AB with a scale factor of, I know it says three here, change that to a two for me, thanks. Sent it at point C. Now, you don't know what a dilation is unless you've gone ahead, but I'll tell you what this is. Remember, a dilation is when you make something bigger or smaller. So for a scale factor of two, that means we're gonna make it twice as big. But the thing about dilation is you actually just move all the points away from a given point. And I don't think that's making sense to you unless you watch 1.6, but I'll show you how you construct a dilation. Check it out. This is what you're gonna start by doing. We're gonna draw two lines right here, okay? Just two straight lines. We'll draw a line number one, connecting C to A. C is our center of dilation, okay? And then connecting C to B, okay? So to make AB bigger by a scale factor of two, what you're gonna do is this. You're going to, just like measuring with line segments, you're gonna see how long C to A is, okay? See what we just did right here? We measure that. And now we're gonna make it twice as long. How are we gonna make it twice as long? Well, if this is one, we just move it to this point, and so that's gonna be twice as long now. So this is where our A prime is gonna be. Okay, let's label that A prime. Now we do the same thing with B, okay? We just measure how long B is, I mean C to B is, that's our center of dilation of B, okay? And now we just move it over again, and you look right here, we draw this little mark right here, okay? And that's gonna be our, right here is our B prime. All right, so now A is twice as far as when it started, and B is twice as far as where we started. And so now we connect A to B, and sure enough, that is our dilation. So AB prime should be, which is the image, should be twice as long as AB. And if you look here, if that's five, this should be about 10. And sure enough, if you look, that's 10, twice as long. It worked. Let's do one more. All right, this time we're gonna do a scale factor of three. So once again, you're just gonna draw, just draw some long lines. It's a scale factor of three centered at point F. Okay, so we're gonna draw that long line here. All right, so connecting D and F, and then we're gonna connect F and E. And once again, just a long line, just as long as you can out. Now we're gonna make it three times as long. So here we go, we're gonna measure F to D, just like we did with measuring line segments. Okay, so that's here. We're gonna go up once, and we're gonna make this mark. Okay, so this mark is twice as long, and then we're gonna do it again so now we got three times as far. So it's one, two, and then three. And so that's where our D prime is, right here. Okay, now we're gonna do it again on the other side. One, two, and then once again, over here, that should be three. And this should be our E prime. We connect our two primes, okay? We go over here, and look at that. We now have a dilated line. Beautiful, so this should be three times long. Now, that's all that's done there, and that's how you do a dilation there. So, if you need to watch it again, please watch it again, but that's it for this video, and make sure, this is my one tip to you, that you always pet a cat going fur-wise, meaning the way its fur goes, because if you go the opposite direction, it scratches you. I know that from experience.